Last week was a great news week for Anthem. Not only did they give us two teasers, they gave us a new image, which we're going to discuss since we got some more information about it. And they also released what they're going to talk about at EA Play. So let's get started. Something is out there. It wants to destroy us all. Yeah, let's watch that again. Something is out there. It wants to destroy us all. Man, what a great teaser trailer. I've enjoyed watching this over and over again. Every time I watch it, there's really three things that kind of stick out to me. The first is this image right here, as all four of the javelins are walking into this cave. It looks like it could be man-made, but at the same time, it could be natural. There's a few elements from both sides, but it looks pretty sweet. The next thing I wanted to talk about was this image right here with the ranger. The ranger seems to be getting a lot of attention in all of their uh, media and press that they're kind of showing off. I think the ranger looks pretty sweet, and it's definitely uh, a javelin I want to try out. But I'm really excited to learn more about some of these other javelins. The last part I want to talk about in this teaser is right here. There is so much to talk about in this one image. First thing that sticks out to me is you get a better look at the new javelin. Uh, it's on the left hand side there. Not the huge colossus on the far left, <laughs> but the one next to it. Uh, it looks like it's got some fins or wings coming out of his back. It's pretty sweet. We'll get a better close up look uh, to what that javelin looks like here in just a little bit. But that was one of the things that stuck out to me. Another thing is, I'm just wondering, where are we? You know, What are all those? Are those windows? Are those lights uh, that are coming out there? You know, What kind of enemy is here? Take a look at those javelins hanging in the back. I don't think whatever enemy is here is friendly to the freelancers. So, I'm excited to find out more about this place. <laughs> One more time. Man, that teaser came in at you hot. <laughs> oh, that one's a pretty sweet one. Uh, so first thing I notice here is the javelins, of course, they're doing a little drop in. Maybe they're dropping in behind enemy territory. You never know. Uh, but if I'm looking here, you can see what looks to be two more javelins above the ranger here. And then again, in a few frames right here, you can see that there's another possible javelin in the back so all four javelins again are are uh, dropping in to wherever this is next up of course we have the epic ground pound slam emote entrance uh, if that's what it is irregardless of whatever it is it looks sweet and last but not least is our enemy here i don't know what it is but it looks pretty crazy it's got a ton of teeth looks like maybe some kind of werewolf looking thing who knows Hopefully we'll find out more this weekend at EA Play. Up next, we're going to go back uh, to last week's video of Anthem Decoded, where we looked at their new image, and uh, in that image in the bottom right-hand side, there looked to be some kind of fort. Uh, Twitter user Anthem Insider theorized that it might be Fort Tarsus, and he showed off an image that kind of looks like this. The next day, uh, Brennan Holmes, the technical design director at Bioware, confirmed uh, that it was Fort Tarsus by saying, hey, good good catch, good eyes. So that's something cool to look at and something to kind of get the outside looking in picture at Fort Tarsus. The next little bit of uh, Anthem news we got was in the form of this image. Uh, so the media was given this key art uh, that was later uh, determined to be the cover, I believe, for the deluxe edition of Anthem. Uh, but there's lots of cool things in here. Uh, we also got a really large image, it's kind of grainy, uh, but I'm going to take some of the images from there and can I show you some close-ups of some of the javelins that are here in this image. Well, let's start here with the brand new javelin. Uh, lots of cool things to see there. I really like the feet <laughs> of the javelin. It's an interesting design. Um, I like the kind of fins coming off again off the back of his legs. Then you can see some more coming off up there by his thruster. I'm guessing those are to help steer uh, as he's going. It looks like he's also got some blades right near his elbows. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Again, it's very aerodynamic, very sleek looking. Uh, kind of dinosaur looking-esque, you know, bright colors. So 
I don't know. It looks pretty sweet, though. After seeing it, this is definitely probably the first javelin, if that opportunity arises, the first javelin that I want to start with. Next up here, we have the Colossus. What looks to be the largest javelin, uh, I mean, at least the largest one that we've seen so far. Compared to the other javelins, this thing is just a walking tank. You know, uh, The thing that surprises me the most, really, when I'm looking at this image, is he only has the one you know, thruster or jet, whatever you want to call it there, on his back. There's none on his legs. And, I mean, you'd think that those things would be really heavy, but maybe they kind of go into an armor lock. I don't know. So, like, you don't have to keep him up with your legs inside. Uh, I don't know. That's one thing that uh, I thought was kind of weird and interesting about uh, the Colossus. It only has... I mean, I know it's large, and it's bigger than the others, but... Uh, I would think there'd need to be some jets, uh, maybe, or some, you know, thrusters on the legs. I do like the design, though. It's very industrial, very, uh, you know, tank-looking. And uh, looks like it can take some damage and dish it out at the same time. And now we have the Ranger, uh, the javelin we know the most about, or at least the one that we've seen the most uh, of, besides the Colossus, in the initial trailer. Uh, some of the things I really like about the Ranger... I just like the general design. It gives me, you know, that obviously that Iron Man feel. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could say that or not, but uh, <laughs> uh, but it, it totally does look like that. And uh, it's it's what gets you. It really got me into Anthem when I first watched the initial trailer, and I was like, man, this game is sweet. And I love the way the Ranger looks, and I still love the way the Ranger looks. I definitely want to use this javelin. Um, again, some of the things I've noticed as I'm looking at this, surprisingly, this has way more thrusters than any other javelin that we've seen. Um, there is rumors, rumors here, uh, that the javelin, uh, here the Ranger javelin, gets up to top speed faster than the other javelins in the game. Uh, but uh, they all have the same uh, top speed uh together so i mean you'll be able to get up get going a little bit faster obviously that makes sense if you say compare that to the ranger and the colossus the colossus is much larger it's going to take longer to get that mass moving uh you know but then they have the same top speed so i mean that'll be something interesting to see how all the different javelins fly and how they all compare um i'm really interested to find out some more about this ranger uh, i think based upon all the media that we've seen so far that we're probably going to find out some more about the ranger uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get some more information on the other three javelins that we've seen so far. Last up here we have what we have termed, or I should say Steven, has termed the floaty javelin. <laughs> because it floats. Uh, as you can see here, there are no thrusters on this javelin. Uh, if you've watched the trailer a few times, like I have, you've seen that this javelin has kind of a propulsion system where it, like just kind of shoots energy out of its whole body through its arms down through its legs to you know to push it along instead of having jet thrusters like the other javelins do uh we've also kind of termed this as maybe like a, a mage but we don't really know um it looks like you can see here there's lightning uh in its arms and legs so that's pretty sweet um hopefully you know if it can use different types of elements you know lightning fire you know that'll be pretty interesting to find out some more about this javelin it does look pretty sleek looking there's also some concept art which i'll put up right here of maybe a few things that you can kind of see or maybe expect of this javelin so uh, it's definitely one of the cooler ones i'm really inter interested to find out what type of javelin it will actually be i know there are a lot of people interested in it and uh I definitely want to see what it turns out to be so that uh, I know if if it's the right javelin for me. And I think that's really what this game is going to be about, is really figuring out which javelins fit your playstyle, and uh, hopefully there's a lot of them to choose from. All right, and now the last thing we're going to talk about is EA Play and what to expect from it uh, regarding Anthem. So right here they kind of give us a rundown of 1 through 5 of what to expect uh, the first thing, obviously, we're going to get a new trailer. It says, That's right, we're delivering an unseen trailer that delves into the dangerous world of Anthem. You'll get a glimpse into the story, characters, and monsters that bring the game to life. Uh, if you're looking at that uh, teaser trailer like I was, those things are pretty sketchy. Next, it says, Gameplay. Last year, we showed off some of the core gameplay that you can expect from Anthem. 
flying, fighting, and of course, collecting loot. And this year, we're happy to show off some more. I'm stoked. I'm really interested to see more about uh, collecting loot and how that's going to go. I'm also, I don't know, obviously it's not on here, but uh, to talk about the crafting system. So I, w I would love to more learn more about that. Uh, next thing, number three, is the combat showcase. Uh, one thing we'll be showing in depth this time around is combat. The power of the Javelin Exosuit will be on full display as players take on the most ferocious enemies seen yet. Uh, number four, developer insights. The dev team at Bioware have been hard at work and now they're ready to show it off in person. So here we're going to get uh, information from three people that are working on this game, three developers that have put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears uh, into this game. So I'm interested to see and hear uh, what they have to show us and what they're going to tell us and uh, the insights they can share with us about their time with Anthem. Uh, the last thing here, number five, says a look behind the curtain. Along with hearing from the developers themselves, we'll be showing off some of the concept and production art of Anthem. I'm looking forward to that for sure. It says you'll get a chance to see the craftsmanship that has been built, that has built this incredible world from the ground up. Uh, so, there you have it. There's a lot of information. It also tells you there at the bottom to after EA Play to stay tuned to the Anthem website, and uh, so you can get a lot of information from there. That's what they're going to be posting a lot. Hopefully, they're going to be posting on a regular basis. There is, you know, they say the game's coming out in March 2019, so. But that gives them about nine months. Um, so hopefully we're going to be getting a lot more regular updates. And of course, you know, we'll be here at the Freelancer Codex Podcast to deliver that news to you guys uh, in podcast form, in YouTube form, in as many forms as we can. And uh, we're, we appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, if you like the content we're putting out, uh, please like and subscribe. And let us know what you think in the comments. Um, EA Play is coming up really quick. Uh, we're stoked. We're heading out on Friday, hit, hitting the road, driving out to L.A., and uh, I'm very excited. I know I know a lot of people are looking forward to this, and uh, I don't know when our next uh, content will be out. I think we're going to try and get you guys a podcast while we're there, but we'll see what we can do in the time allowed. So uh, we're going to be busy <laughs> checking out Anthem, hopefully, and uh, but until next time, there's a shaper storm coming. We'll see you on the other side. Something is out there. It wants to destroy us all.